Hello guys, welcome back to Good Show Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Aliens Dark Descent is having crashing issue, it is not launching, won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck overload in screen and even many more issues which is happening and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart and that's what we have to do. For this we just need to go over here in the start, click on this icon. Go for a simple restart. Once restart is done, see whether just launch the game and see whether the issue is solved. Most probably, sometimes with a simple fix, this can be fixed up. But that's not going to work for sure in all the cases. So if that is not working, we have to move to the next step. That is all about, we need to verify integrity of game file. For this, we just need to go over here, select the game, right click and go to properties. Go to installed files. Click on verify integrity of game file. So when you click on this one, what happens is this will be cross checking every single files of the game. If any files are corrupted, if any files are missing, both the issues can cause us the crashing and all these kind of issue. So it is quite important for us to make sure that we are not going through any kind of these issues. So verify integrity of game file is actually an important step and we have to try this out. Next one. So this has to be reached at 100% and you'll be getting the play button. So hence we are in the middle of video. I'm going to skip this up. So once you're done with this one, you can try launching the game after the verify integrity of game file. Next one is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So we are launching the game from Steam. That might cause us the issue. So this is what happening in most of the cases. So you are getting a play button over here. So you are launching the game from here as well. Sometimes that might be causing the issue. So if that is the case, we have to launch the game from the installation folder. For that, we just need to go over here. Uh, we have a shortcut that is right click over here, go to properties, go to install it file, go for browse. Now from here, just go back so you can see this is the location installation folder. If you check at the top, that is this PC, lock it is C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, aliens, dark descent. Now just launch the application from here. For many of the users, when they launch the application from here, this did work it as well. So you can launch the application and see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about, we can do the step from here itself. That is, we have to run the game as an administrator. For that, we just need to right click over here, go to show more options, go to properties, go to compatibility. And over here, you can check. There is an option called run this program as an administrator. So there is an option called run this program as an administrator, select this one, go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game. For most of the users, when they run the game as an administrator, this did work it for them. So you can try this out as well. If that is not working, we have one more parallel solution that is running the game in compatibility mode. For this, right click over here, go to show more option, properties, compatibility. Now go to run this program as an in compatibility mode. This has to be checked and make sure you have to run this first with Windows 7. Go for apply and go for OK. If Windows 7 is not working, change this to Windows 8. Go for apply and go for OK and see whether the issue is solved or not. If this is not working, we have to move to the next step. Next step is all about nothing but we have to make sure the Windows language is English. For this, we just need to go over here. Go to search over here. Go to settings. Now from here, go to time and language now from here go to language and region and we have to add the language so just click on the add language and search for english once you set the language to english and see whether the issue is solved most probably the language has to be set into any other one so that's going to work for that means if you are on the default language like chinese japanese which can cause the issue so set the language to english go back now go to date and time over here make sure you have to turn this on that means you have to turn on this one as well as you have to turn on the zone automatically should be turned it on as well so you have to turn both on and once you're done with this one just close this and go back and see whether the issue is solved or not next one is all about we need to launch the game using alt and tab so just click on the play button but the moment you are clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard this did work out for many users so you can click uh, you can do the same just press alt and tab from the keyboard and that is going to work for you like a easy way 
If that is not working, we have to move to the next step. That is, we have to delete the saved game file. For that, we just need to go over here in the file explorer, go to documents. Now from here, you will be find many games. So the game Euro Truck Simulator, American Trucks, which already installed and saved, which I'm playing right now. So if you're playing the game, you'll be getting a folder on the same alien. So if you find it, you just have to delete it. Keep in mind when you delete it, you will be losing all the progressions of the game, but that is fine. Just delete it. Once afterwards, just close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about, we need to allow the game to Windows security. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search, go for control panel, just search for control panel. Now from here, go to over here. Now click on system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, go to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, you can see Aliens Dark Descent is already added. So make sure this is public and private should be checked. That is the most important thing. So if it's not working, we have to click on change settings. Then if the, it is the game is not added, we can add it by default. For that, just click on allow another app. Go for browse. Now go for this PC. Go to local disk C, program file x86. Go to steam folder. Go to steam apps. Go to common. Now from here, find alien dark descent. Now select this one and go for open and go for add. So it's I'm getting the error because it's already added. So this is how we can add it by default. If it's not there, most probably it will be there. And once adding the game to the Windows security, just go back and you have to see whether the issue is solved or we have to try with the next one that is unplugging all the USB devices. So some of you guys might be playing the game with connected with joystick controllers, even multiple monitors, even any other thing. So those all things cross uh, causes the crashing issue so if you find this just remove everything from the usb port now launch the game after game is successfully launched if you wanted to still connect play the game with the control just connect it back and try launch the game next one is all about we can try with performing a clean boot for that we just need to go over here in the search go for system configuration go over here on system configuration now go for services Go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. This is asking for a restart. So go for a restart. But here I am in the middle of video, so I am going to go for exit without restart. For those who are users who are watching this, go for restart. And once done with the restart, try launching the game. Next one, we need to close, disable the Steam overlay. For this, just go over here, right click and go to properties and make sure this is turn it off. This is an important step. This is the important step. Just turn this off and launch the game. If that is not working, we have to give few commands in the launch option. That is the first one is over here. We have to give the command that is DX11. Give the command DX11 and try launch the game. If DX11 is not working, go for DX12 and try launch the game as well. So try with DX11 or you can try with DX12. Any one of the thing has to be worked. So if that is not the case, we have to move to the next one. That is all about, we need to close all the overlay application, which is draining out a lot of performance. So that just go over here, right click and go to task manager. Now it is quite visible for you guys. There are many things is actually running in the background. So all these things are actually draining out my performance, which is causing the crashing. For this, what I have to do is I just have to go over here. So if I find, find anything over here like Discord, I have to remove it because Discord comes under the category of overlay application, which is one of the main reason for, for crashing. Simultaneously, if I find anything over here like, you know, Reward Tuner, MSI Afterburner, I have to remove it as well because those also comes under the category of overclocking application. So once you remove every unwanted things, you just have to go back over here and go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about, we need to go for run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. We need to search for graphics settings. Now search for graphics settings, just open this one. Now from here, we need to add the game. So if the game is not added, we can add it. Just go for browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local disk C, program file x86. Keep scrolling down, Steam, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, go to alien dark descent, select this one and go for add. So once it's added, just go for option, set this to high performance and go for save. Once you set this to high performance and go for save, go back and see most probably the issue has to be fixed. Next one is all about we need to increase virtual memory for that we just need to go over here in the search, 
go for view advanced system settings so just click on this one now from here once you click on this one you have to click on the advanced go for settings advanced once again go for change make sure this has to be unchecked and select the local disk where the game is installed so here in my case it is c so you have to uncheck this so i have to select the c and i have to uncheck this and go for custom size give the value for initial size and maximum size the initial size of my laptop which i'm using right now is 32 gb so i need a calculator to do a calculation based on this i have to do everything for this i have to go over here so i have to multiply 32 GB, I have to multiply it with 1024. That brings me 32,768 and I have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings me 49,152. So I have to paste it. Next one is all about multiply 32 GB into 1024 and I have to multiply it with 3 because any maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So copy this and I have to paste it as well. Go for OK and uh, you know when you go for this it might ask you for restart so you have to go for a restart once after that most probably try launching the game even if it's still not working then we need to update the graphics card manually so i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to this if you're on the nvidia that will take you to this select every details like product type product series product operating system etc and even you can go for windows 11 etc and go for start search and now once after start search what you have to do is we just need to Go over here and you'll be getting the latest outdated version. So just uh, select the correct one. Over here you have to select the correct one. So now go for start search. And you'll be getting the latest outdated versions. So 536.23 is released version on 14th June 2020. Just download this one, install and restart the PC which is mandatory. If you go on the AMD you'll be getting the graphics over here. Select every details over here. And you have to go for submit. Now from here you have to, if you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one. And after this installing, still it's not working, then we have to install Microsoft Visual C++. This did work out for many users. So just download this one and install this on your PC and try launching the game. Even after it's still not working, then we just need to make sure the Windows is up to date. So just go over here in the search, go for settings, go for Windows update. Make sure the Windows is up to date, which is quite important. And even after trying with this, you can also try with one more step. That is, you have to go over here, go to manage, uninstall the game and reinstall the, reinstall the game back. But you should not be installing back on the same local disk. You have to try the position of local disk from C to D or any other. So these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue. And I hope this video is helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye-bye.